Today, we're taking a look at the Cycle Frontier, a high-stakes extraction shooter where players prospect for resources on an abandoned alien world ravaged by a deadly storm. Now, this video is sponsored by the guys over at Jaeger, developers and publishers of the Cycle Frontier. And they wanted me to let you guys know that Season 1 is available to play for free on Steam or the Epic Games Store starting on June 22nd. So if you guys are watching this video, it's already out. You guys can play the game for free right now so feel free to click the link in the description if you want to try the game out for yourself leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it a dislike if you didn't my name is big fry let's get into it the game is an extract style game in which you basically drop down onto a planet you collect resources and then you bring them back to work on things like upgrades or quests for different people out in your central hub so this is the central kind of quarters here and you can go here to your skill trees and you can actually upgrade a bunch of things about it now this is early days i played back before the wipe happened and we lost pretty much everything your central hub is right here there's other players kind of just chilling around you can't really do much with them but there are a bunch of different factions that you can grab quests from so you have the ICA right here Osiris over there and then all the way over here is Korolev now these are the people that create the different weapons in the game as well as give you quests that you can do for when you drop down onto the planet so you guys can see here i have a few different objectives one for osiris to deliver waterweed filaments i believe you can find those around water we might have to spawn near a lake or a river to get those deliver hardened metals as well as spinal bases so for spinal bases i have to kill uh monsters around the island and then deliver hardened metals you can usually find those around different structures within the level and then obviously we have to hunt striders for korolev going in with an auto rifle and i feel like i should be going in with a secondary so i'm gonna bring a shotgun as well head over to the launch terminal and we're off my goal for this drop is to get as many quests done as possible water weed filaments usually go over to lake so what we're gonna do we're gonna head over to this comms tower here now the monsters in this game are fucking hard so you don't ever want to get caught up now one thing i didn't know about this game is the servers have uh, a, a time of six hours so i could be spawning into this server in hour two could be spawning in an hour four we don't know but every server has a six hour time now it said high danger on the comms tower, which uh, I'm not a fan of. We're looking for hardened metals. Ooh, a data drive, okay. Old currency, I'll take it. Finding a lot of tech here. Radio equipment, circuit boards. Circuit board. More radio, oh, there's a player out there. Hey, my man, you friendly? Hey, dude, can you hear me? Hey, hey, man, you friendly? I'm just gonna try and sneak out of here. Shit. Oh, I don't want to fight this right now. That gunfire is going to bring some attention. And I don't want that. The good thing about this is I can take all the time I want. Storm incoming evac will go offline in five minutes. I have five minutes to get to evac? Oh, fuck. Okay. That's a problem. Well, there's my spinal bases. I have one minute to extract. My extract is over there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this, guys. Where does the actual ship come? Evac is now disabled. That's not good.
Holy shit, I think I made it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let me in. Yo. I think I made it. Holy fuck. So yeah, I got my spinal basis. I got the hunt done. I didn't get this and I didn't get my I didn't get the loot that I was looking for. And so what's cool is once you do quests for all of these people, you then level them up and un unlock more things to purchase within their market. So I just unlocked this a KM9 scrapper, which is an SMG. Not my thing, but there is a whole system of doing quests for all of these factions and it gets you better gear. So we're dropping back in. I do have to get these water weed filaments, but that all really just depends on where I spawn. I'm still looking for hardened metals and I'm looking for compound sheets. One thing we also have access to is crafting. The more materials you guys get, the more you can craft, you know, different items like large backpacks. So obviously for a large backpack, you need a pale ivy blossom. You need altered nickel, which you can get by, you know, pickaxing certain deposits. And then you get your textiles. So it can be found in civilian lockers. So there's an entire crafting system as well. So I think I'm ready to drop in. It looks like we got the fucking beach on the far left, right? Oh, it's south. Okay. Uh, I have an extraction, but I do have a water facility that I am just going to go investigate. Oh, there's a drop close to me. Yeah, another swarm of players just dropped in. That's not good. Just gonna avoid him real quick. That'd be good, yeah. What do we got here? Hardened metals. So I'm going to put the hardened metals in the safe pocket because there is a player over here. Hey man, you friendly? You friendly? Hey, whoa, 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 you're good. Hey, you good? <laughs> oh, that's all he had, huh? He had nothing. How many do I need? I could finish that quest. I act, you know what? I'm calling an evac. Hey, stay away. Oh, oh my God. Yo, he was right there. Continue. Whew. So Ender, okay, so I killed Ender, Ripperonis. And yeah, this dude was rolling up literally a second away from getting involved. Okay, so I should be able to hand in that quest to the ICA now. So I still have to do compound sheets, visit the lagoon on Bright Sands, hunt creatures at the lagoon on Bright Sands. So this is a map exploration quest. So one thing you guys can also do is customize your weapon. So you can get attachments, things like stocks, things like, you know, rear grips, fore grips, uh, muzzle brakes. You can also throw optics on here as well. So I'm going to go in pretty much completely kitted outside of the ammo converter. All right, we're dropping back into Bright Sands. If we can get to the lagoon to do that quest, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna go hunt some monsters down there. But if we can get over by the waterfall, I definitely want to drop in and try to get those waterweed filaments. We're by swamp yet again. Lagoon is down over here. So, I mean, I'm gonna check here for waterweed filaments and see if I can find them. But now the weapon does have a red dot, nice stock on there. I know others have said that Swamp also spawns the Waterweed filaments, but I haven't been able to find them at all. The game's art style and color palette is absolutely phenomenal too. Where the game was with the cycle when it first came out to where it is now with this frontier kind of change of direction, night and day difference. This is easily the best version of the cycle that we have seen. And now that a lot of the bugs have been worked out from the uh, betas that they've had, the game is in a really good spot. All right, we are at the lagoon. Now I've got to hunt monsters here. Hey, compound sheets, there we go. I'm gonna move the compound sheets over here. Cause we need those for a quest. Hey, look at that. I gotta kill three monsters. These little striders are probably the easiest thing to kill. I don't wanna call the other ones over. So I think if I do this.
There's two. That should be that quest. And now, I want to get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. I'm not even- I'm not even thinking about you, my guy. I have to evac. There's comms tower right there. Fuck. Evac's now disabled. It cannot land during the storm. Yeah, that's a problem. I'm gonna chill in here. It's going to be dark, and I'm not sure how long the storm lasts. These storms look deadly. Man, I've done pretty good on this run. I, I can't see anything. I'm just staying still, man. I definitely see why a flashlight would be worth it now. Oh, evac is now available again. All right, so the storm's passed. I really don't want to fight that right now. Oh, that was kind of scary. So that's cool. So there's rolling storms that take out evac. I'm going to try and avoid that big guy over there. Try to get over to where I got to be. No. Oh, no. Holy shit, this thing is tough. What the fuck is this thing? No, no, no! No! Fucking move! 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 No! That's heartbreaking. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I guess now's a good time to tell you guys about co-op. You can play with three people total, so bring two other friends with you. And then you don't get fucked by marauders like that. Shout out to the developers at Jaeger for sponsoring this video. If you guys do want to check out Season 1 of The Cycle, you can play it completely for free on Steam and the Epic Game Store by clicking the link in the description below. My name is Big Fry. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content just like this. Stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>